How's it going guys? Welcome back to an improved version of a tutorial I did way back on how to actually hook up a controller to your PC. Now the reason we're doing an improved version is because, well first of all, the last tutorial is kind of getting outdated and second of all, it seems that a lot of people have issues using Motion Enjoy which is the software that we used way back in the last tutorial. So in this one we're going to actually talk about how to use something called Better DS3 Tool which should be a lot better first of all because the first of all the the user interface is a lot easier to use and second of all which is probably the more important one this one is actually done offline meaning that you don't need internet connection to do this which also brings me to another point some people have experience with motion enjoy which is the one you need to run online um, that they actually get malware and viruses from it and that's because when you use motion enjoy and you actually use it over a period of time Information is sent constantly back and forward from a server, meaning that there might sometimes slip something through to your computer, which is not what we want. So this tutorial is going to show you how to use your controller without getting any viruses or anything, which is good. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started here. So we're going to start out by actually open up our browser here. And inside our browser, you're going to search for something called motionenjoy.com backslash download. And now you're thinking, oh, but you just told us we're not going to be using it. True, we're not going to be using this software, but we do need a driver from this website that is going to allow us to actually use the other software. So in here, you're going to go ahead and go to, you know, motionenjoy.com backslash download. You're going to go down and you have to download the newest version of it, which is at, at least this point in time, 0 0.7.1000. And down here where it says 32-bit and 64-bit all-in-one, site one, you're just gonna go ahead and click on site one and it's gonna download a uh, zip folder for you. You're gonna go ahead and unzip that folder. You're gonna install Motion Joy. Uh, when, at the end, when it asks you if you want to run it or not, just go ahead and say no, you don't need to uh, because it's gonna open up that connection. Like I said, you don't need the software, you just need the driver. So just install it, have it on your computer and never touch it again, okay? Second thing we need to do is you're gonna go to Google well, google.com, and in here, you're gonna search for how to use a wireless, well, I search for PS3 controller on PC. How to use wireless PS3 controller on PC. The top link is from digitaltrends.com, which says, you know, how to connect it to the PC, and we're just gonna go ahead and click on that. You're gonna come into this link here, and don't worry, I'm not just gonna show you the link and then say, okay, here you go, now you can install it by yourself. We're actually gonna take uh, take ourselves through this step by step in this tutorial. So as you can see, it says how to connect a PS3 controller to a PC. When we slide down, it says that you do actually need, uh, well, it doesn't really mention Motion Joy here, but from all the other places I've been that says when you need to use this software, you do need to have Motion Joy installed. So that's why we installed it, just to make sure. Now when we go down to step one, It'll actually tell you, downloading a better DS3 program, so you do actually need to download this program first, which will, it has a link to down here. So when you open that up, it has this better DS3 tool that you can download here. Uh, when you download it, you don't need to install it. All you need to do is unzip it, and then when you open it up, it opens up, okay? And when that happens, you're going to get this neat little software here. Let me just go ahead and find it. Let's see, it is in here. It is called Motion... Well, better DS3 tool, it looks like this when I open it up. Okay, as you can see right now, I have nothing connected to it. So what we're going to do now is take you guys through step by step on how to use it. I did in fact have an issue with it when I installed it, which was that I had my controller set up, but it would not work. I had it even registered that my controller was there, and when I vibrated controlled it, it even said it was there, and it vibrated and everything, but it didn't work. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix that. So... We have it open now, and what I do is right now, I do actually have a PS3 controller in my hands with a wire. You need to hook it up to your computer with a wire. It does actually support a Bluetooth connection, this software here, but I have never even tried it. You do actually need a Bluetooth uh, signal sender thing to your thing. So you do actually need to spend like seven bucks on that. So I just went ahead and just tried it with the wire. So, But what you need to do now is actually hook it up, and I'm going to do that just now like so, and as you can see, it pops up. And there's a couple of things you'll notice here is that first of all, it has the name of our controller, which is good. The battery state is actually saying that right now it is charging it. 
if you have a Bluetooth connected to it and you disconnect your wire, it will actually tell you how much battery you have left on the controller here, which is really nice. Um, so what we want to do here to start out is first of all, you want to go ahead and say, well, let's go ahead and say new. And down here, you have a little, you know, a couple of options here. You want to select the one called X input, which is the Xbox input. And I know, I know some of you guys have a PS3 controller. Just, I have it too. Just follow me along here and you'll do just fine. Um, you're going to go ahead and click on that one. What it will do now is open up this window here where you do actually need to give it a profile name. So I'll just say test because I have a profile already. And what you need to do now is, as you can see, it has all these things here you need to hook up, like triangle has to be a certain button and that sort of thing. You don't have to do all that. Just go ahead and click on autofill, the Xbox 360 button up here, click it, and here you go. Now, one issue you're gonna have is that, well, if you're using a PS3 controller, you're gonna have this issue at least. If you're using an Xbox controller, this is gonna be all you need, okay? If you're using a PS3 controller, however, you're gonna have to scroll down a bit because some of these buttons are not correct. As you guys may know, all the buttons are the same on Xbox and, and PlayStation, except for the bumpers, like L1, R1, L2, R, R, R2, those things are not the same. It's actually switched around. So we do actually need to go ahead and go to the shoulders, it's called. Here where it says uh, L1, you will not have left bumper, you will actually have the one called left trigger, which you need to turn into left bumper up here instead. Down here in L2, you need to change it from left bumper to left trigger, half axis something. Okay, you do the same thing with the uh, R buttons. So down here with R1, you say right bumper. That's what it needs to say when you're done. Uh, actually, I'm sort of switching this around. Sorry, guys. <laughs> left bumper is going to be left trigger. L2 is going to be left bumper. R1 is going to be right trigger. And R2 is going to be, where is it? Uh, R right bumper. There we go. Okay, that's the correct way you need to have it because I forgot that I already, uh, I thought I was in, inside the profile I already made. So this is how it needs to be, okay? Um, so doing this will now have you set up the correct way for the PS3 controller. Down here in the bottom, you have a status with the LEDs. Uh, it can either show the battery level or I like to put it at custom and then set it as controller one which I like to do. Now, um, what one thing you might want to do is uncheck the one called automatically apply to controls when connected, which will actually, when you connect the control, automatically apply this setup here to your uh, joystick when you set it up. Now, I do not want that because I already have one set up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set save profile. There we go. And now, if you go down to select a profile, you should have, well, I have two, I have my original one, and then I have test which is the one we just made. Um, when I select this one, uh, you can edit it, you can create a new one, you can delete it or whatever. The Bluetooth pairing down here, if you do have a Bluetooth set up on your computer and you have it hooked up to a control, you can actually apply this one. Uh, there's also a control panel here, which I've not messed around with too much. Uh, you can just go in and do some advanced settings in here. Uh, you don't need to do that. It's actually working now. Now, the issue that you might have, if you look at your controller, at least if you have a PS3 controller, you might notice that the buttons, you know, that says, you know, which player are you on the controller, you know, the, the four uh, LED lights. If it's, con uh, sorry, if it constantly says that it's charging and that you're not player one, then you need to actually unhook your, uh, what is it called, the wire from the PC and plug it back in and it will work. Okay, that's how I fixed mine. I tried opening up a game. It did actually vibrate when I went in and vibrate tested it inside edit and said that my controller was hooked up. But when I played with it, it would not do anything. So you need to unplug your wire and plug it in again and it will work. This is all you need to do. Uh, all you need to do is just start up this program. You don't need to start up Motion Enjoy. All you have to install it. Motion Enjoy is, is hidden away now. Okay, we have the driver now. Don't uninstall Motion Joy though, because you'll uninstall the driver too. Just make sure you have it installed and somewhere on your computer. Open this one up, hook in your controller, and it should work. One more thing I want to mention. If it is not working, uh, when you hook in your controller, make sure you have the, the wire inside your controller first, and then you hook it into your computer. I, I saw that somewhere that that might be a good idea to do. I'm not sure why. Um, it doesn't seem to ruin it for me, but if that's an issue, you can try that. 
that's pretty much it for it, you guys. And I do not think there's anything else I need to mention here. If for some reason it is not still working, I do not know what the issue is. Often I do get a lot of comments on, you know, oh, it's not working. And please tell me why this is not working. And I have to do just as much Googling as you guys do when you ask me that question. And I'm not trying to be mean here, but really, I get a lot of those questions all the time. I can't Google every single time I get an answer. So um, yeah, just go ahead and Google the issue if you if you have an issue. That's how I found out that I just had to unplug and unplug my controller wire again. So, uh, But I hope this helped. Please do leave a like if, if it helped. It will help this channel a lot. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.